hey guys welcome you all in t3p today my question to you is do you want to be an azure cloud architect but don't know how to start then this video is for you in this video i am going to share a few documents with you that can help you to understand azure in better way or i would say these documents will give you real time experience so what these documents will have these documents will have the concept hey guys welcome you all in technology help to the you. point or we can question to help you us to understand the solutions for real time scenario so even even if you did not get a chance to work on real time projects then we can learn from the others experience that is what i started my career to become an architect initially when i was working as an admin i started reading the case studies which helped me to uh, gain more experience from those scenario these scenarios always help us while we face any interview and also whenever you read more and more huge cases or case studies definitely it will help you in your day to day work as well because as a solution architect or cloud architect you don't know what kind of scenario you will get it so uh, it's better to prepare more for that one so let's get started so guys once you clicked on the url you will get this pdf file that is a page of 36 and this book what you actually we have this is the book related to the hybrid cloud okay and the multi cloud environment so what exactly it is and how it is helpful for us as a solution architect or the technical architect for the cloud the reason why i am sharing this book if you have the hands on experience as a solution architect or the technical architect or the cloud architect then well and good if you don't have and you want it to learn what exact things we can do or we need to do once we become solution architect and that is also without working for any customer or any project then how we will get a real time feel that will boost your confidence for that particular skill set right that is required as a solution architect so what we will do here we this book will help you so what we have in this book let's see first that thing so as this is a only document of 36 pages then i would recommend you to go through it and it's really really worth to go through them it the region is within this 36 page we were, our understanding about the azure solutions will be totally different why i am saying so let's see it so what this document will have it will have the introduction part that is the two page introduction about the cloud what exactly the cloud is how it is started become a critical nowadays what are the services it offers and the other parts then we will have the fundamentals related to hybrid infrastructure as you know hybrid infrastructure or we can say the hybrid cloud is the combination of private or public cloud or we can say the combination of on premises infrastructure and the cloud is known as a hybrid infrastructure okay to work with the hybrid infrastructure we should understand how the resources will work how the resources are connected how the resources will be communicated how the resources will be accessed what kind of permission it need and how, will it be secure while transferring data between our on premises infrastructure to the cloud that 
all answer we will get it in this fundamental what else we will get what exactly the the components comes under networking what are the components comes under identity and access management what component will come under security and how they are related to each other right we will get the fundamental of in this section related to hybrid infrastructure then the most important as it might be possible that you got a chance in a real-time project working as a solution architect and provided solution to your customer but if you did not do that then how you will learn it right without uh, preparing any design and what technology you will use what approach you will follow to provide the solution then these huge cases helps us let me tell you about myself i initially did not get chance to work as a uh, solution architect i started my career as a admin then i moved to the migrations then i moved to the implementation project then now we are delivering and designing the infrastructure for our client so these huge cases will help us to understand each and every aspect which is related to the requirement on the basis of requirement we will able to provide the solution what are these huge cases are these are the different huge cases so first huge cases we have like organized and governed across the environment next we have at scale kubernetes is application management next we have run cloud services anywhere either it is on your on-premises infrastructure or on the cloud then we have the regulatory isolated and disconnected workload as you know there are many in organizations which uh, they don't want to keep their data on public platform like public cloud and they so they want the data with them itself so how we can disconnect it or provide them the isolated environment remote branch offices there is a case study related to it that means if an organization is having multiple branch offices then how the patching will be done how the updated application will be deployed in each and every office you know there sometimes we have thousands of not thousands means thousands of sites we can say in each side how we will deploy our updated application or something like that then we have the case study based on deploy computer and artificial intelligence on the edge then we have migrate and manage application across vmware environment as well so i hope you guys have a little bit idea about it right so let's see about the introduction part if you see the introduction part is started from the cloud is the foundation of digital transformation you can go through it i'll share this document with you then the main important first before going with the huge cases you should understand the fundamentals of hybrid infrastructure because that is the thing which we should be very first about the uh, very much deep understanding about the fundamentals once your fundamentals are clear then it will be easy to provide solution for any requirement so uh, it will start like uh, hybrid networking networking in hybrid fundamentals means in this section we will go through the networking part and in this networking world, what we will cover we will cover the VPN connection then we will get the understanding about the express route then we will virtual van so these will help us private links and then we will go to the deliverer part where the application will be deployed then we will have the section of identity and access management that means that how the user will be managed how we will access the resources how the users will be provided the permission to access the resources across cross platform so this section will help you in that way next we have the security section in that we will understand how our infrastructure will be secured how our data will be secured little bit understanding about it and then 
in the last we have the huge cases in this huge cases if you see that it, there will be a brief about the situation then there, there is an example of the situation then we have the solution how with the help of a jury we can eradicate or provide the solution for this uh, this situation or the this huge cases or this requirement so we just need to go through a one page for one study, case study so the, once you will go through these case study i know that you will have the better understanding about the azure and how it provides the solution for the requirement so i hope uh, you will go through them you will get this book or we can say this PDF document over the link which I'll provide you in the description box and in the end you will have more resources link here you can try Azure for free and then explore it more uh, let's talk about the next book or next document that is required for you what we will learn from the cloud so the next document we have that is the cloud lessons learned so in this document what will what we will get there are the case studies of four companies which migrated their windows servers and sql server were close to the azure so if you see the content here you will see the introduction part of this book then we have the case study uh, migrate with eg there is an organizers which find that migration with azure is as much easy as it can be next uh, case study we have like enhanced performance control cost so uh, for one organization they are sharing their um, experience that how it performed their infrastructure performance improved their infrastructure performance at how they control the cost on that part then there there is an one more company which used azure to centralize their infrastructure management they that to uh, help and eradicate or we can say solve the problem which is manage uh, which they have earlier to manage infrastructure from different different location now they have the azure they can say uh, manage their infrastructure centrally next we uh, case study we have for the infrastructure for the company which e e bring your legacy with you that means they can use their own existing infrastructure with the cloud also so these four companies huge cases we will get it and we will understand from there so i'll not go in that one let's see for migrate with with eg it is from the carlsberg group you know they are they are the big one right next case study we have and also what you will understand the case study you will get what they did it what are the solution they implemented it and what will be the benefit out of it so this is the comment from their cio next case study we have the from epos now now after this we have the case study from traxol france so these are the real time experience they shared with us uh, see there is two things to learn two way to learn we can say either it, either we do it and learn it from the experience that definitely takes much time and also we can learn from the others experience so here what i am trying to share with you that once we will go through these two particular documents we will have better understanding once we get the insight what exactly we use it our approach will work accordingly once you have that kind of approach you can apply or learning in your day-to-day -day work and work as a solution architect i hope you like this content and if you like this video then click on like button subscribe to my channel for more related information and the content and more review about the certification exams see you in next videos